Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to use the FlywayDB migration tool with Quarkus. What is FlywayDB? FlywayDB is an open source database migration tool. It's based on just seven basic commands. Migrate, clean, info, validate, undo, baseline and repair. Migration can be written in SQL or Java. Now let's start and follow my steps. With Maven, create a new Quarkus project. In this video, we are going to use Quarkus version 2.6.0 with PostgreSQL. Good. After that, go inside the project folder. Add the Quarkus FlywayDB extension in the project using the command add extension. Open the project with Visual Studio Code for example. Well done. Inside the package org.js, create a new file book.java. This Java bin represents our book entity to manage and persist with an ID, title and author. Take a moment to create it including all the getter and setter methods. Inside the same package, create a simple book repository class that implements the panache repository of book, annotated with application scoped. Open the book resource and inject the book repository. Then rename and replace the content of the existing hello method. Let's call it get for example and let's return a response with the entire list of books inside the database specifying the status code OK, meaning 200. Move inside the resources folder and open the application.properties file. Inside this file, we have to put the configuration to use FlywayDB migration tool inside our project. I'm going to put Quarkus Flyway migration at start equal true needed to execute Flyway automatically when the application starts, if it does not exist already. Quarkus Flyway baseline on migrate equal true to enable the creation of the history table and then the Quarkus Flyway out of order equal true to allow migration to be run out of order. In the end, put the configuration needed to connect to PostgreSQL database. Let's finally create our first migration script. Under the resource folder, create a new folder called db. Inside this folder, create another folder called migration. In this folder, we are going to put all the SQL scripts. Add the first SQL script. The name must start with v, version, then a number, double underscore, and then a name to identify the script. In our case, create book, because we want to create the book table inside the database with FlywayDB at the startup time of our application. Let's open it and add the SQL script to create the table book. Good. For simplicity, we're going to use the Postgres Docker image and also the pgAdmin Docker image to check the content of the database. We are going to create a docker compose yaml file specifying the services needed, PostgreSQL and pgAdmin, and of course the configuration to connect to them. Take a moment to copy the content, but don't worry, I will put it inside the GitHub repository of this project. Now let's open the terminal and run the command docker compose app. Good. Let's try pgadmin and try to connect to the database PostgreSQL. As we can see for the moment, the database is empty. 
without any tables. Let's move in back to the terminal, open a new tab, and run the project in development mode with the command Quarkus Dev. Good, our project is up and running and listening to the port 8080. If we take a closer look at the logs, we can see logs related to FlywayDB, like migration schema public version, or creating schema history, or successfully applied one migration to the schema public. Now let's go back to pgadmin and refresh the view. Inside the table, we see the table book and flyway schema history with one entry, create book. It automatically creates the flyway schema history table. Because the book table for a moment is complete empty, let's go back to the project and add a new script to insert a new book inside the table. Relaunch the project in development mode and then check inside pgadmin the table flyway schema history and of course the table book. Well done! The source code of this video you can find it inside my GitHub repository. Feel free to clone it. And thank you for watching this video, subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload and see you in the next one, bye!